Lip plumpers work by irritating your lips to make them swell. Wait a minute! Hey friends, so we won! <laughs> we won, friends, we won! Oh my gosh, thank you everybody that voted. Like I said this already, the night of the award show, they, they let us give a speech, okay? You know I wanted to get up there, first of all, give an eye to God who is the head of my life. <laughs> like, I want to thank my family, my child, my, but no, like for real, like we won y'all. Um, thank you everybody who voted. Like this is so cool. And the thing I love so much about this is it's not like, oh, you won for Big Brother or you won for the Challenger, you won for whatever show you want. This thing say best reality TV star across the board. Do you hear me? Well, at least the ones who were nominated. I won. <laughs> Damn. Y'all. When I asked you guys to vote, I didn't think you guys were going to vote like that. Y'all showed out, okay? And honestly, truly, the young man, I cannot think of his name. I think it's Marshall. I think that's his name. From Love is Blind. I thought he had it in the bag. I thought he was going to beat me for sure. For sure. Because on the post, he had the majority of the likes, right? He had way more likes than I had. But I had more comments than him. But... Turns out it wasn't even about that. It was about the votes. And when it came to the votes, y'all showed out. And so I'm so grateful, y'all. I am so grateful. Let me tell you something. One thing God gonna do, <laughs> he's gonna let me know that all of this wasn't for nothing, okay? He showed me the first time when I won America's Favorite House Guest. And now he's showing me again, like, girl, I'm trying to tell you, okay? There's a method to what I got you out here doing, okay? You may not win the show. I'm excited. But I'm going to let you know along the way that you are out here for a reason. Like, there's a purpose that you are on these assignments going to do. Just let me do what I'm doing, okay? And so I'm so grateful, y'all. I'm so thankful and like... Ah! <laughs> okay, you guys. So I want to get into how this even came about because it caught me so off guard. Back in December... They reached out to me, the National Social Media Awards, uh, they reached out to me on Instagram and was like, hey, we want you to come to the award show in 2024, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, okay, cool, no problem, I'll come. Now, mind you, this was just an invitation to be a guest in the audience. So, like, that was it. Like, there was no nomination talk, there was nothing. It was just to be a guest in the audience. And I was like, okay, cool, no problem. And so they were like, okay, we'll reach out to you more when we get closer to the date so we can give you information about tickets and location, blah, blah, blah. And so I'm like, cool, no problem. Didn't think any more about it. January comes around. I'm on a fast. So I'm not supposed to be on social media. But I had to go into my DMs because I was looking for a message for... I was looking for a message, right? <laughs> I was looking for a message. And so I had to go into my DMs. And so when I went in there, immediately the first thing I saw was a message from them. And so naturally I assumed it was the information for the award show and I was like, oh, let me get this real quick so I can just write it down. And so I click on it and it's like, it's, it's connected to a post. And the post is like, oh, congratulations to Devon Diane for being nominated for Best Reality TV Star. And I'm like, oh, what is this? Like, <laughs> I was like, what is this? The post said that I needed to get votes. And so I said, Lord, I know I'm supposed to be fasting, but I gotta get these votes. So what am I supposed to do? Like, I won't scroll, I won't talk, I won't do anything. Just let me post <laughs> and try to get these votes. And so I posted that and um, I asked you guys to vote for me and it was just, it was a process. So the fast ends and I'm able to get on social media, right? I'm going straight to their page because I'm looking to see who of the nominees are, you know, who's hanging with me, right? And so the guy Marshall, from Love is Blind, he hanging. I mean, he hanging tough. I mean, his people are looking out for him and showing him love. And I didn't watch the season. And so I'm like, let me, let me go see who this man is. So I go to his page and his page is so wholesome. <laughs> it's so wholesome. Like he's cooking and he just, he's just chilling. And I'm like, oh man, they love him. <laughs> I know a lot of people love me too but you know I'm also on the other side of that fence so it's a lot of people that's like we don't like her and so I'm watching his likes and I'm watching mine I'm not really worried about anybody else because honestly I don't really think anybody else knew that they were nominated and so I wasn't really worried about it because they weren't getting likes like that it just it wasn't happening and so I noticed that he had way more likes than I did but I had way more comments but again none of that mattered because it came down to the votes so when it came down to those votes, like I said, 
y'all showed out. Y'all showed out. Y'all showed out so good. Y'all showed out so good. And I thank y'all. I will forever thank y'all. You have no idea the love and appreciation and gratitude I have for y'all. Like, it... it <sighs> You will never understand, but just know that I love and I appreciate y'all so much from this, even down to when Cadence was doing the popcorn uh, fundraiser for her cheerleading squad. The way y'all showed out for that is just like, you know, it <sighs> top tier. People can say what they want to say about their supporters. When it comes to mine, I'm going to stand 10 toes in the fact that I have the best of 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 the best. Period. And that's just how I feel. Okay? That's just how I feel. And mind you, I'm not a big celebrity by far. But the people that rock with me, they rock with me for real. And I just, I, I love y'all. Like, I love y'all so much. So anyway, now it's time to get ready for the event. Now I had to have my hair braided for something else. Because y'all know she, she's always booked for something right so I had to have my hair braided for something else and so in getting ready for this show I was like man I'm gonna have to have my hair braided I can't even throw my wig on throw some curls in it and really get fly because I have to braid my hair up and so I was like no problem you know a little natural hairstyle <laughs> I'm gonna look fly and so I didn't have anything to wear and I didn't have the time to go and find something to wear because I have a child <laughs> who has 30 million extracurricular activities and I'm literally soccer mom at every single one of these things that she has signed up for right and so my life is hers <laughs> okay like this is Cadence world I'm just living in it and so I really didn't have time to go and find me something to wear and so I was like okay well I'll just get something out of the closet so I had this black suit and I'm like yeah I can wear that at no point in my mind did the thought of you need to try that suit on. <laughs> you might want to try that on. Never came into my mind. I just was like, I'm going to wear this black suit. So it's time for me to start getting ready. I have to braid my hair. Now, mind you, I have not braided my own hair. I braid Cadence hair. I braid other people's hair. I have not braided my own hair since 2018. 2000. <laughs> And 18 was the last time I personally braided my own hair. And so when it came time for me to start braiding, baby, I was stressed. I was stressed. I was stressed. Like, you have no idea how many times I said, Devon, just take it down, throw the wig on, and throw some curls in it and be done with it. And then the other side is like, no, but you know you need the braids for blah, 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 blah. So, And I'm like, oh, my gosh. And so I get to braiding. Okay, and because I am a parent before I am anything else, as I'm braiding, my wonderful child wants to play a board game. Now, <laughs> again, I am a parent before I am anything else. And so if she wants to play a board game, I'm going to give her that attention and I'm going to stop braiding and I'm going to play the board game. Just so happens the board game she wants to play is Monopoly. <laughs> so I have to stop braiding to play Monopoly. And we all know how long Monopoly is, okay? It's the never ending game. And so we play that. Finally, we wrap it up. It comes to an end. And then I'm like, okay, cool. I can get back to braiding. I go back to braiding. Then it's, mom, I'm hungry. Okay, cool. No problem. Let's go get something to eat real quick. Put your shoes on. I'll take you to go get whatever you want. No problem. Yeah, no. <laughs> I want you to cook. What do you mean you want me to cook? I can just grab you something to eat so I can come back and finish braiding my hair. No, mom, because remember yesterday you told me we was going to cook together today. I did. I did, and because I'm a mom who keeps her word, we're now in the kitchen cooking. And mind you, I'm about this far in my head at this point, and we're in the kitchen cooking, okay? So that whole process happens, we eat. Now I'm full. When I'm full, I don't wanna do anything, but I have to keep my eyes on the prize and I have to finish braiding. Now, the braiding hair that I got was about, I wanna say about this long, right? And that just, I said, you know what, if I'm going to spend all this time braiding my own hair, I'm going out. Okay, <laughs> so I started adding hair to it. So like I said, I was about right here when I had started doing the cooking. And so I had to go back to all of those braids and do it, add on hair to make it long, right? And so I'm doing all of this. I get pretty good up in there. Now it's time for Cadence to get ready to go to bed. So she does her nighttime routine, whatever, whatever, whatever. Before she goes to bed every night, we do something, whether it's play cards, read a book, some type of arts and crafts, just something before she gets ready to go to bed. So this time, <laughs> she says, Mom, I want to play speed before I go to bed. Cool. 
That's a quick game. No problem. I get the cards. We sit down. I beat her. Okay. We played. Now it's time for you to get in the bed. Oh, uh, four out of seven. <laughs> this is not rock, paper, scissors. But she's like four out of seven. And so we get to playing. That's over with. Now I let her read her book. Because every night before she goes to bed, she has to read one of her little Bible stories. And so she reads her book. Then she gets ready to get into bed. She's out for the night. I can get back to Braden. But now we are in the wee hours. And I am tired. I don't want to do this anymore. I am contemplating cutting all of these braids out just throwing on a wig. Because we all know if you cut the braids out and take them down, that's a lot faster than actually putting them in. So let's just cut these bad boys out. And then I'm like, but you need these braids for blah, 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 blah. And so I keep braiding. So now we have hit 4.45 in the morning and I am done with my last braid. 4.45 in the morning on Sunday. <laughs> it is now Sunday, which is the day of the show, the award show, right? And so 4.45 in the morning, I start dipping my braids. That was a bust. Pretty sure I didn't dip them all the way. 4.45 in the morning. I didn't know you, I didn't know me, I didn't know anything at 4.45 in the morning, okay? And so I lay down, I set my alarm to get up at a certain time because I still have to prepare for the day. So I get up and I have to go grab my sister because my sister is who watched Cadence while I went to the award show. So I have to go pick up my sister. But on the way to pick up my sister, my daughter, mom, I want to take an adventure to Jamba Juice. Again, I'm a mom first, and so what do I do? I take my baby to Jamba Juice. And so we go to Jamba Juice, she orders what she wants, I get what I want, and then I order something from my sister. On the way to my sister, oh mom, can you get lasagna for dinner? I don't have time to cook lasagna, baby. Oh no, just get the one that we can put in the oven. So I call my sister, I ask her, is she cool with lasagna? She like, she cool with lasagna, we go to the store. Get the lasagna, get some bread, and get some uh, salad, stuff to make salad. Cool, y'all have a whole meal for tonight. Great, we're done. And so I go grab my sister, come back to the house. At this point, we are in crunch mode. Like, at this point, I can kiss the red carpet goodbye. We are in crunch mode. So I get in the shower. Yes, I had not had a shower yet. I get in the shower, get out the shower. Now it's time to, I think I'm gonna do something to my face. If you know me, you know I don't know anything about makeup, so this is gonna be a very quick process. I didn't even try to do eyeshadow. I didn't try to, I didn't try to do any of those things, okay? I threw on a little concealer, hit a little whoop, whop, 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 pow, and then threw some lashes on and put on some eyeliner, threw on some lip gloss, and was like, time to get dressed. Like, ugh. And so I'm looking at my hair, and if you know, you know, when you first get box braids, not knotless braids, not those, OG box braids with all of the knots, okay? When you first get those, they're big, like, because they're sw the hair is swollen. And so they're big, right? The hair is swollen. Am I saying that right? I think I am. If I'm not, you know what I mean, right? And so <laughs> the hair is swollen. It's always big. Even after you dip it, there's still a certain amount of, it's swollen, right? And so my hair is just really, really big. And because it's so fresh, 4.45 in the morning, it's so fresh, I can't style it. I can't put it up. I can't, I can't do anything to it because this award show is not me risking pulling my edges out or pulling my hair. It's, it's not worth it. And so I was like, okay, I'm just going to wear it down. And so I'm looking at it and I got this big hair. I put the suit on. Suit is huge. It's huge. Not trying this thing on in advance was a rookie mistake. I thought to the last time I wore the suit and I was like, oh, you know, it, it, it was cool, whatever. Suit is huge. It is huge. And so <laughs> I put that on. My hair is big. Face ain't done. Didn't get my nails done because I had to braid my hair. The only thing that's done is my eyebrows and my toes. That's it. That's all I had time to do was my eyebrows in my toes and so I'm like whatever so I have an attitude not only do I not look the way I want to look I am also tired <laughs> I mean tired because you have to remember whole Saturday was devoted to this and being a mom and then Sunday 4 45 in the morning I go to sleep and then I'm up and it's back on mom duty and then I'm running around and then now it's time to get ready for the show so I leave out the door, go and pick up my friend because she wanted to go to the show with me. So I grab her. Her house is like so out of the way. <laughs> we didn't even know it at the time. But her house is so out of the way, which like it pulled back the time of me arriving. And so when I say I was late, baby, I was late. I was late for the red carpet. I wasn't late for the actual show, but I was definitely late for the red carpet. So anyway, we get there. We walk inside. There's a lot of people that I didn't know. And this this was a wake up call for me because it let me know I'm not as active as I should be in this world. <laughs> I 
I should be a lot more active in this world because there were so many important people in there and I didn't know who any of these people were. And I mean, these are big people because I looked some of them up while we were sitting there and I'm like, oh, you got this, oh, you, you, oh, you out here doing this and you got brand deals with this person and you like, you're really out here making a name for yourself. And I know I, I, I know nothing about you. And so I was feeling a little convicted. I was like, I should know more about these people. And so I have made a decision to learn more about my peers because ultimately that's who these people are. They are my peers, right? Oh, back up. Before the show even starts, I see a Reese, okay? <laughs> if you know, you know. That's my sister. Oh, that's my sister. I see a Reese. And I get excited because it was like, oh, a face. I know you. And so I run over to her. And plus, I hadn't seen her since that show of which we don't speak about. I ran over. I gave her a hug. We started talking or whatever. Took a little quick video. And that was that. And so I went back over to my seat, sat with my friend. And then I saw Mimi. Mimi came from Big Brother. And I was really excited to see her because I had been wanting to meet her for the longest time. And so I was so excited to see her face. She was there with her husband and I thought that was so cool. So the show starts, right? And everyone is coming up and they're doing their thing and then it's time for the nominations. And so everyone gets their awards and I'm clapping and screaming for everybody because, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a big deal. You know, you just want something. So I'm screaming for everybody. I'm hollering for everybody. And so then it comes down to my award. And, um... <laughs> They start calling the names, and when they get to my name, I start screaming. But what blew my mind was the fact that so many other people were screaming. I didn't know that this many other people knew who I was. Like that... <laughs> Again, God will always show me that all of this, like, and everything that comes along with it, all of it is not for nothing. Like... All of it is not for nothing. And for these people to know who I was and to scream for me, like it was just. I don't even have words. But in any event, they do that. And in my, my gut is like, he's going to say Marshall. He's going to say Marshall. And then he said, duh. And I said, I'm the only duh up there. So it's me. <laughs> give my little speech and I make sure to thank you guys. For our supporters, those for every view, for every click, for every share. Because if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't be here. I love y'all with the love of the Lord. Have a good night. Honestly, truly, like I said in the speech, you know, if it wasn't for the views, the likes, the comments, the shares, the clicks, the whatever that you guys give to us, None of us would have been sitting there. You know what I'm saying? That space wouldn't have been available for us. And so I feel like we won. That's why we won. We won. You know what I mean? And so I got my award. And then I left. <laughs> I left. Because you know me, I don't like to be outside. I like to be at home. There is peace in my home. There is joy in my home. I like to be at home. <laughs> I got it. I hugged everybody. It was so good. I saw Raven from The Circle. I was so excited to see her. Didn't get a chance to hug her or anything. But when she went and won her award, I was screaming down. Do you hear me? I was screaming down. And then James was there and I was screaming for him. And like he won Best Comedian on social media. Like we was holding down. Okay. I wish the three of us could have gotten a photo. And then my favorite couple, they won. Like it just... <sighs> We was holding it down. Like, it was, it was good. It was a great night. And I'm so excited that they invited me. I'm so excited that they thought enough of me to nominate me in the category. Like, it was fun. I had a good time. I had a, I had a good time. No, I didn't post any pictures because, again, I didn't like how I looked that night. I didn't, I didn't, I did not. <laughs> the surfboard or is a skateboard? This is definitely a skateboard. Let me, let me mind my business. So, this <laughs> And it's from a company called Wardrobe, and um, yeah, they put my name on it, and I thought it was I thought it was really cool. So, and it's purple, which we all know is my favorite color, and so it was just like it was it was wins across the board. Okay, <laughs> it was wins across the board, and again, I could not have experienced this moment if it were not for you guys. And so again, with 
<sighs> everything that I could possibly say. Thank you, 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 thank you. From the depths of my heart. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Like, y'all are the bomb. Y'all are the bomb. And y'all show up every time. And I love y'all so much. And so, that also let me know that I need to start feeding y'all more. Because y'all love me a lot and y'all support me a lot. And I really starved y'all a lot. I'm so sorry. And so... <laughs> I've been on hiatus, but I've been doing work. And so, you know, meals are coming. <laughs> I almost forgot to tell y'all. LA Girl Cosmetics were in the building, okay? They were in the building, okay? Look at this pretty pink bag. I'm not even a pink girl like that, but look at this pink bag. Ain't it so pretty? LA Girl Cosmetics, they showed out with the PR situation. They gave us this. These were on all the seats child all of the seats so they were for everybody and then this right here maybe this was the thing this was the thing this was the thing i've been waiting to open this but i said i was gonna do it on camera i have been waiting to open this up okay um yes i have two of them because on my way to my car we ran into one of the the ladies who were there and she was like you guys leaving and we were like yeah and she was like you want another one i'll take it you want to give me another one? And so she gave us two, and I thought that was really cool. But now I get to open it, and I'm so excited because I have been waiting to see what is inside of here. So look at this cute, cute. Look at this cute, because it's pink, and it's cute. Look at this cute little baggie. And inside is LA Girl Natural Glow Envy Bouncy Highlighter. Look at that. It's real shimmery, shiny. Y'all see that? This one is rosy. This is the rosy color. You see her? She rosy. Should I? Ooh. Ooh. It feel good. That, mm. Let me see how I look on my skin though. Can you see that? That's the rosy. Let me do the natural. Dang, that felt good. Stick. Ooh. This one don't feel like that one. That that pink one felt good. This is the natural one. Can you see the difference? Should I use more? My vein popping out. That ain't cute. Okay, this one is called Sunkissed. That's cute. All right. Ooh. This one is like the first one. So we have rosy natural glow. And sun kissed. These are blush, highlighter, bronzer. Blush, highlighter, and blonde. This right here is oil control. Oh, with a matte finish. And then also, oh, mascara. Then we have primer. Oh, illuminating primer. Okay. And then we have skin illuminator. Then we have three lip glosses. Okay, so this one is called Glow Up. This one is called Sweetheart. And then this one is called Champagne. Oh, it's pretty too. I think I'm gonna try the champagne one. That one looks really good. And then they gave me some eyeshadow. <laughs> um. So this one is called Desert. Okay. But yeah, LA Girl Cosmetics came through and they showed out. And I'm about to use all of the things, okay? Because y'all showed out. And so I am excited. Thank you guys for handing these out. I'm excited about that. I do. I really want to try this lip oil. I ain't never put on nothing on camera. You see. Somebody gonna be like, she don't even know how to put on lip oil. I don't. Like, I'm, I'm not that girl. How it look? It look cool? It look, it look all right? Popping. It's popping. Sheer vanilla. Got a taste? <laughs> There's no taste. Don't lick your lips. <laughs> There's no taste. Although, 
before I put this on, I did have on Carmex. So that could be a situation. It might not even be this. Whatever just happened could have been Carmex. I want to try the lip plumper. I'm not going to try to put the lip liner on on camera just because no. Plump it up. Oh. Oh, it's tinted. It's a color. It's pink. I don't really know how I feel about pink on my lips. I wish it was clear, but let's see. Oh, this ain't bad. This feels this feels great actually. Is this supposed to burn? I mean it's not it's not burning, but are my lips crusty? What? Why is burning? Yo, why is burning? I mean, it's not like it's 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 not like unbearable. Where I feel, let me Google. Oh, lip plumpers work by irritating your lips to make them swell. Wait a minute. Is it normal for lip plumper to burn? There is a reason why your lips may tingle, sting, or burn after application. I mean, it's not unbearable, so it's not like... And again, if this is normal, then, you know, I'm sorry. I, I've i never used a lip plumper before, so I don't know. But, um... Ever try to lip plumper gloss and end up burning your lips? There's a reason for that sting. Okay, so... How to stop lip plumper from... Okay, so this is... Okay, so the burning sensation... Okay, so it's normal. Again, it, it, it was nothing like, oh, I feel like my lips are going to fall off. It was nothing like that, but it was just like... The lip oil ain't feel like this. So, you know, I didn't know that something was supposed to happen. I, again... I'm not the makeup girl. So I didn't know. I, I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know. I got nervous for a minute. But okay, this is cool. It's normal and it's supposed to happen. Anyway, thank you LA Girl Cosmetics. I am excited to see what this does. Uh, <laughs> I was nervous. In the first half. <laughs> I was nervous. But now it's like, okay, let's see what it does. So again, I had a great time at the event. I had a lot of fun. I love y'all with the love of the Lord. And we did it. 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 And uh, yeah, that was my, that was my little journey, you know, a little simple little video, a little, 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 little simple little video. <laughs> yeah. I love y'all. And um, to my next video, I'm out. <laughs> oh wait, I should probably do it with the, I should probably do it with this. Lord, that's the one thing, like, we're going back to short braids because sitting on these braids, laying on these braids, this is not, I can sign up for that, okay? But anyway, <laughs> we want, I should probably do them, because I got to do a thumbnail, right? So, oh wait, let me see. Something, but yeah, we want. <laughs> We won. I love y'all so much and thank you again. We did it. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> Until my next video. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend to tell a mama. And I love y'all and uh, until my next video, I'm out.